You know what that means? It must be Mailbox Monday. That is right. It is Mailbox Monday. I know I said we weren't going to have one this week, but I decided, uh, you know what? We got some stuff coming. Um, some stuff is here, and I had the time, so why not? Um, I also thought I was losing my mind earlier this week, so that could have been uh, an influence as to why I didn't want to have one. Um, so yeah, we got three packages here, and I got a very special box waiting that I will show you at the end, which means we'll start with these envelopes. Um, the first one is from a Mr. Alan Shipley out of uh, Cedar Creek, Texas. So, got this little envelope here. We'll see what's inside. Looks like some teeth of some sort, like uh, dog teeth or something. Some sort of drawing and some sort of letter. So let's see here, we'll open the letter first. It says, uh, hey AJ, it's Cobain with cocaine on Instagram or just Alan. I didn't have anything cool to send, so I just drew some fan art, and those teeth are from a dead coyote I found months ago. There are some bits and fragments and even full teeth. I hope you enjoy the coyote, te coyote teeth in your collection. Peace, love, masks. Alan. P.S. Could this get me some stickers? If not, I understand. Yeah, I think that could do. I think that could get you some stickers there. And I do appreciate the coyote teeth. Let's see what this uh, fan art is. Got the IHOP logo, the mask up, and some I Hate AJ Goat on there, so cool. Well, I appreciate it, man. Um, I'll keep your envelope there. Uh, there. I'll keep your envelope there and send you some stickers when I get a chance. Um, I didn't even read about this one. This one's from my buddy Joey Romero. Didn't know this was coming, so I don't know what's in here. Although it feels like stickers, and he does always hook me up on stickers, so... Look at them. Dude takes such awesome photos, and they mostly uh, are of masks, so. I'm sure you have seen them in the background, or somewhere else in my videos, because I really do stick them everywhere. And uh, he may have actually sent some in for a mailbox Monday, I can't remember. But um, yeah, those are awesome. Thank you, Joey, I appreciate those. I'm gonna put them on my little uh, sticker thing. Okay, so the next thing isn't quite a mailbox um, deal. I already apologize for this video. Um, someone showed up downstairs at the House of Masks area that is not with the House of Masks. And I can't really tell them not to show up because we do not own the space yet. So, I came upstairs to my empty, boring living room. And I'm going to finish it up here. So... Like I said, this one is not technically mailbox related, but my friend did grab it while they were in New Orleans for me, and I think it's kind of sweet, and it's definitely different than what I typically have. So, one of those things. I know you guys have seen them at different stores or whatever. This is like the non-party city version or non-Halloween city version of these Mardi Gras masks. And uh, my friend Sarah got this for me while she was vacationing, and it is pretty cool. I think it's creepy anyways. That fucking grin is like almost like my logo. So uh, thank you very much, Sarah. I do appreciate that. And it will fit in nice to the collection because it stands out. All right, guys. I said the last box was going to be very special, and I meant it. So um, I'm actually going to go grab that right now, and uh, we're going to open it together. We finally have a special guest on Mailbox Monday. This is my friend Rob. Where are you from? I'm from Fort Washington. But it's in Ohio? Yes. He's from Ohio. I think it's a little north of here. Um, do you know where Canton is? I don't. No. Fuck, AJ. <laughs> um, I've never left this house. Well. I've been uh, here <laughs> since I was born. We're going to open this box. He made me a special, <laughs> special, special mask. And I'm pretty excited for it. So, um... Yeah, let's open this up. If you want to talk about it as I'm opening it up, okay. you can just I'll just whatever. go into the, this epic saga. Yeah, whatever you want to do. 
This particular mask has been in the works for two years. Uh, I kept running into different problems. People thought I was just picking it up and going as I wanted to, but I was living in Columbus for a while and was literally making it paycheck to paycheck, and I couldn't spend a whole lot on mask supplies. Um, but thankfully, this past year, I was able to mold it and you know get everything going, so. It is a Cory Volume 3. He finally has Dude. one. Dude. That is pretty fucking incredible. God, it feels amazing. Right. It, I told you, it's really spongy. So this is made out of... It's made out of polyurethane self-skinning foam with a latex skin um, so that it could be painted with latex paints. And it was painted by my friend Tony Yomberg. And you Ooh. sculpted the entire thing? I sculpted the entire thing myself. Uh, I put in the staples, the twine, put the belt on, and everything like that. Can I put and it right? I, yeah, go for it. I don't care. I know that you kind of have a small head, so I kind of... I do. I do have a like baby head. extra holes in it. This feels amazing. I told you. Oh, uh, dude. I imagine with face paint, this is probably the most badass no, shit probably. in the world. I didn't want to put on face paint and you know do that whole thing you told me to look inside the chin yeah <laughs> a little eye hag action that is awesome man i appreciate that yeah not a problem man this thing is beautiful i'll tell you those stables are a pain in the ass to put in so you're gonna make these <laughs> to uh, order yes i make them to order um they sell for 300 dollars usd um and that's and completely finished yes completely finished um, of course, rivet placement and, you know, you know, is going to vary depending on what paint job you want. Right. Uh, like for example, if you wanted his green and yellow version, there would be, I think, 10 or 12 rivets on it with leather pieces underneath the rivets. So, so I'm going to go ahead and give you the stamp of approval and say that this is hands down the most accurate version of this mask available. Um... I know that there's a lot of people out there that uh, complain about mask prices and whatnot, but um, the way that I always try to put it is, he's selling these for $300. There's and, somebody uh, else out there that charges twice what I do. Yeah, they're either going to run into somebody that's charging more for lesser work, or you're going to you're going to spend the same amount of money and get four bad masks. So you might as well save your money and pick up something like this, because it is well worth it in the end. And, uh, like... I know it looks good on the camera, but I swear to God, this thing is unbelievable. In the person. camera does not do the mask justice yes. at all. And uh, obviously, I'm going to do a in-depth look at this later that is not on the selfie version of my phone. So, um, yeah, man, if you just you can just freestyle and say whatever you want about this. This is your time. Um, well, I guess just come check me out on Instagram and go like my art page on Facebook, JWG Productions. Um, my Instagram is also Mr. Saberine, just like my YouTube channel. I don't really post a whole lot on YouTube, though. <laughs> yeah, obviously when I post these uh, on Instagram and stuff, I'll tag you in it. Okay. And make sure that everybody knows where to find this product. This and fine, fine I, I want everybody to keep in mind when you see this mask, Tony can match any paint job you want, and he won't stop until you're satisfied. That's true. I've seen three finished versions mm -hmm. of this so far. Actually... I have something to tell you off camera, but... Okay, yeah, we'll wait. <laughs> so I think that'll just about wrap it up for this Mailbox Monday episode. Um, if you guys liked this episode, you can give it a thumbs up. Um, you can tell me what I did wrong in the comments. Uh, if you would like to send something, as always, the P.O. box will be in the, uh, link, in the description below. In the link? Yeah, in the link below, <laughs> in the comments below. It's gonna be everywhere. I'm fucking gonna put posters up in your city. Um, and it's on my Instagram bio as well. So, uh, thanks to everybody that sent in. Thanks to Rob for coming down and bringing this beauty with him. And uh, we will see you guys hopefully next Monday, depending. I was thinking about switching these to maybe once a month because um, what this is the seventh episode and mail has started to slow down, which is fine. I don't mind, but uh, uh, it's just how it is. So maybe we'll go once a month. We'll see. Um, if not, I'll see you next Monday. And uh, thanks for watching.